Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and I am going to do a haul video for you. I haven't done a haul video in a while. Um, most of what I'm hauling is nail polish. There's a few makeup-y items as well. So um, I will start with, um, if you follow me on social media, you would know that back in February when I bought the Bohemian Rhapsody nail polish collection, um, I won a gift voucher from uh, Glam Polish um, in their Bohemian Rhapsody giveaway thingy, what's it? Um, and so I got to buy some more nail polish from Bohemia, uh, from Glam Polish. Um, so I will show you what I got. They will be appearing in a swatch video at some point um, soon. Um, if you also uh, follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen the first one, which is this one here. Let me zoom in just a little bit, just so you can see better. Um, yeah, so this was, I wore this on my nails this month. So this is as sure as shell, and it really is beautiful. It is a minty green with holographic and a pink shift. It's really, really pretty. And from the same collection is this one, which is to shell and back. And it is a purple with holographic. Um, and it is beautiful too. I haven't actually worn it, but I'm sure it'll look great on the nail. The next one I got is from the same collection as well, which is obviously a shell themed collection because they all have shell in the name um, this one is what the shell this is a silver holographic if you know anything about me you know I really like silver holographic this one I think the others have got it as well but this one's also got um, green to purple shifting glitters or something in it so it's kind of got this other thing going on but it's still beautiful and then I have two which look very similar but they're actually not they're different and they actually look really similar to one of my other polishes which was in one of my recent swatch videos which is the Dance of Dragons which is also from Glam Polish um, this one is called I Just Can't Wait to Be King obviously from a Disney or Lion King collection I don't really know because I don't necessarily... Bohemian Rhapsody is the first full collection I've bought of any nail polish. Um, this is a teal to purple shifting multi-chrome with holographic glitter and pink to blue shifting flaky thingies in it. Um, I'm probably not doing a very good job of picking up the green to or yeah, tilt a purple shift, which I generally don't because my lights don't like it, but it's there, trust me. <laughs> and the last one from Glam Polish is Imperial, which is clearly from a Harry Potter collection. This one is much more um, purple, but it is still a, it's kind of a teal to blue to purple shifting multi-chrome with holographic and green to blue shifting flakies, I believe. Um, so they're a kind of similar. When I pulled them out in the package, I was like, wow, they're like really, really close. Um, but yeah. Um, and for reference, for reference, uh, this one on the end here is the Dance of Dragons. This one is I Just Can't Wait to Be King. And this one is Imperio. So you can see these two are quite similar. This one has got um, flakies in it though. This one doesn't have flakies in it. It just has glitters in it. So yeah. Very similar colorway but a different content. So that's those ones. Um, some more polish that I picked up. Um, from Bolsale, 
they were doing a sale and I found one polish that I really, really wanted and I had to make it worthwhile because that's how you do it. <laughs> and the polish that I saw that I really wanted is this one. This is Bold Gold from Maybelline. This is one of the best gold stamping polishes um, that I have ever used, even though it's not meant as a stamping polish. Because it's a chrome or like a metallic type polish, it works really well as a stamping polish. And my current bottle of this is down past the halfway point. Um, so I saw this on in a sale and I thought I have to buy this. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to make it, you know, worthwhile. So I bought that one and then I got this. I actually put a, more stuff in my car and then I took a lot of stuff out. This is one of the Essie Magnetic polishes. This one is, uh, it doesn't have its name on it. It's like the snake skin one. It's lost its sticker. I didn't even realize it had lost its sticker. I'll have to look up what the color's supposed to be. Um, but it's like reptilian or something like that. Um, so obviously when the magnet, <laughs> kind of, you can sort of see it shifting, but it's sort of supposed to give it sort of an animal kind of look to it, which is interesting. So I got that one, um, and then I saw this one from Sally Hansen. This complete manicure line, Salon Complete, what is it? Complete Salon Manicure line is actually really, really good. This one is Olive Branch and it's like this really gorgeous olive green with a bit of a gold sort of shift to it. It's really beautiful. Um, and then I picked up a whole bunch of China Glaze. Um, this is the China Glaze in Adore that I was wearing on my nails in the um, Kermit manicure. This is what I had underneath the crackle polish is this one here. So this one is a door and then we have this one here which is Cherish. These two are from the Romantic collection. I have Harmony, Joy and I think it's Desire elsewhere in my collection um, and I quite like the I like metallic nail polishes so um, yeah so this one's Cherish then we have this one which is Rodeo Fanatic which is a super dark blue metallic um, we have this one which is Emerald Fitzgerald which is a super dark green metallic with shimmer. We have this a gorgeous little number here. This is K -K -K Courage um, which is obviously from the uh, oh, what is it? Wizard of Oz collection. Um, it's a purple with silver shimmer um, and it's slightly metallic as well. Very pretty. Uh, then we have this um, holographic topper, which is Nova. It has a slightly yellow gold sort of base to it, but it is effectively a silver holographic topper. Um, it's just the base that's a slightly different colour. The glitters are clearly silver. Um, silver holographic ones, so that's pretty. Um, this one here is the tin, the Ten Man, not the Tin Man. So this, these two are from the Wizard of Oz collection, clearly. Um, yeah, this is a white or off-white ivory with uh, silver glitters which is interesting. Then I have another crackle polish. Um, I've become obsessed with crackle polishes recently. 
I don't know why, just have. Uh, this one is a fault line and it's a purple metallic shatter or crackle which looks freaking amazing if you ask me. Looking forward to wearing that one. And lastly I have one of the magnetics. I think there were some other ones but I didn't get them. Um, this one is Pull Me Close. Uh, yeah, which is a dark grey, which, and that's what this is, this here, is the, um, magnet, or one of the magnets that you can buy to go with this polish, um, but just to, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but you can literally see the magnetic particles moving when you put any kind of magnet near them. Um, but this is just the one that China Glaze made to go with their magnetics line. Um, and this was in the sale, so I thought I'd pick one up. Um, it's supposed to do a star, um, chevrons and stripes. So I will try that out at some stage and see how it goes. In the same buy, I got these two bottles of Dream Wonder touch fluid foundation. One is in classic ivory and one is in porcelain ivory because I couldn't work out which one I liked better or which one was going to be the right colour. Looking at them through the side, which is probably not the best way to do it, the classic ivory looks yellow. Um, yeah, which is not what I want. <laughs> but I might be able to mix them together. So, yeah. Um, I also got this L'Oreal Matte Matic Superliner in Taupe Grey. Now, it seems like a strange colour to get probably, but if I'm right, yeah, it almost is. It's very close to a colour that I used to have called Mink, which I loved, except this is not shiny because it's a matte one. Um, but as I'm getting older, a grey eyeliner works just as effectively as a darker one and it doesn't sort of suck the colour out of your face. Um, particularly good if you're super pale as well. So um, it was only like a couple of bucks. So um, There was also L'Oreal Baby Doll Mascara. This is actually the indigo one, so it's not the black one. I, wanted, I like coloured mascaras. I'm a bit of a weirdo. You can actually see through the bottle. The actual packaging, this bottle packaging, is actually the colour of the mascara. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so I got that. And then I got two lipsticks. One of them is white. <laughs> yes, I am that person. Um, these are both Maybelline. They are both, I believe... No, one is a matte... The white one is a matte one. The other one is a metallic. So that is the white one. Which I thought was good for mixing. If you've got a colour that's too dark and you just want to lighten it up, use a white one. Um, and it's called Wickedly White. I've also been thinking about doing like a um, single colour makeup type of thing. Um, Partly inspired by um, Shan XO, and but I was thinking of doing like really like the more bizarro type of colours, so an all white manicure, uh, an all white makeup look that would be like kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be useful for that. Um, and it is called uh, Wickedly White, and the other one I picked up is. Um, called Gunmetal, and it's actually more green than Gunmetal, um, but it's got sparkles. It's a, it says metallic. It's very interesting, kind of. Can you see? Yeah, it comes across more green than Gunmetal. I would have thought Gunmetal would be more grey. Um, I don't know how 
opaque this white is. Oh, it's not bad. It's quite creamy to start off with for a matte. Um, yeah, but that's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Um, the last thing I bought from that particular buy is this. <laughs> this is. I thought that was smaller. Um, every time I've seen them on on websites, that I've always just thought they were about half the size of this. Um, this is basically a fishtail brush. Um, it has this nice plastic cover thing, which looks like you can reuse it. That's interesting. Um, I guess I'm, I'm not really sure what they're meant for. It's quite dense, like probably too dense to apply something like contour, even though it's narrow like you'd want contour. Um, maybe foundation? I would have to try it out, I think. But it feels nice, like it's it's dense, but it's not oh, scratchy, it's like quite soft, so. Yeah, and I've been seeing them for so long, and I just, it was a good price, so I thought I'll, I'll buy one and see what it's like, so. And I love that it comes with like a, a way that you can put the thingy back on, that's great. I really enjoy that. Um, I was in, doing my shopping in Audi the other day, and I saw this lipstick, which is one that I don't have from their line. This is a red, um, this is from their Photo Fit line. So it's called Paris. Um, just a standard lipstick. Oh, okay. This might be going back. Hmm. Oh, it's coming straight off. Oh, look at that colour. Wow. That is gorgeous. I love reds like that. Um, yeah, so that's that. And lastly, I have some items for review. I will be doing review videos on each of them. They probably won't be very long review videos because um, they're any smallish items. Um, the first one is a nail file. It's a sponge nail file um, that is 100 grit on one side and 180 on the other side. This is from Born Pretty. These three things are from Born Pretty. Um, I just wanted to try it out and, you know, they send me stuff to try out so um, I thought I would try it out and see what it's like and whether I would recommend it as um, an alpha 100, 180 grit is actually pretty high. That would be like roughing, um, like when you first file, like an acrylic en enhancement type of thing. Um, it's not for buffing or anything, even though this is a sponge file. If you tried to buff with that grit, you just rip up your nails. Um, so be aware of that. The, the lower the grit number, the more rough the grit actually is. Um, so for buffing nails you would want more like a 240 kind of thing, if not higher. Um, so just something to be aware of. Uh, the other thing is this stamping plate. I actually really like their packaging. It's embossed, it looks really pretty. This is Overprint L003 to this new line that they've brought out. Um, there's other brands that have done these. This is this is not a new concept. But basically what it is, is that there are several different images that you can stamp individually. So like this, this one here, you would stamp that one first, and then stamp in one color, and then stamp that in another color, and then stamp this one here in another colour, so like if you did a black for that, and then coloured for that, and then white for that, you'd get kind of a dimensional butterfly, um, and that's basically the purpose of these. So they come in, basically in sets. Um, I haven't tried it out, I don't know what it's like, I've seen some other people use them, 
um, but I am looking forward. There's one here that's got like, I think, four. I think these ones here go that way. Um, yeah, so I'm actually really looking forward to trying these out and seeing what they're like. Um, yeah, so I will be doing a review on that at some stage. I might actually do a uh, stamp all the different designs um, on like a paper or something so you can see how they would like turn out. Um, and the reason it's blue, in case you have never seen a stamping plate before, is it has a um, piece of sticky plastic stuff over the top of it to help it not get scratched up. So that's what it is. You've got to take it off before you use it. In the old days, the plastic used to be clear um, and you wouldn't be able to see it, which was really annoying because you'd try to use something and it wouldn't work and you couldn't work out why. And it was literally because there's a piece of plastic on it. So. And the last thing is this bottle of nail polish, which I haven't opened. Um, I only got this like uh, yesterday, I think it was. It's just been sitting here on my table. I've been procrastinating. I have uni work I'm supposed to do. I have videos to film and I'm not doing any of it. I'm just kind of sitting around. So I figured I'd film. Yep, that's what I'm using my Saturday night for, this filming video. So this is one of Born Pretty's normal nail polishes. It's not a uh, gel polish, it's not one of their peel off nail polishes, which they recently came out with. I have tried one of those, I didn't really care for it. This is just a holographic nail polish. This is called Myriad Star. It is a, sort of a, it's basically green to purple, kind of like, um, it's a little bit like the glam polish ones two darker ones, um, but it almost looks like a black holographic, like a green to black holographic. So um, yeah, I will do a video on this at some point. So that is everything that is in my haul. Um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Click the bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like whole videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.